Hello and welcome back to BitTalks, the show that brings you all your daily news on crypto and blockchain. My name is Brandon. I am your host from BitTips. On today's episode, we'll be having a little discussion about bull runs. More specifically, the little bull run that's taking place right now. In case you're not aware, Bitcoin in the last week has gone up around 28%. In the last day alone, Bitcoin has surged around 8% from $4,700 to about $5,100 as I record right now. Is this growth sustainable? We're going to hear more about it from the Chief of Operations from BitTips, Antonio Gomez. Antonio, great to have you on. These prices today, pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, the prices are pretty crazy. I mean, I've been checking Bitcoin Cash has been gaining about 40.93% in the last 24 hours and that's probably the major price movement and it's interesting that not many people talk about that people are more focused with bitcoin obviously that broke to five thousand and twenty one dollars according to price of coinbase but what is more interesting is that the prices of bitcoin went up on london time from at 6 a.m in the morning in about one hour the price went up seven hundred dollars and according to reuters thompson they, they figure out that on on Coinbase, Kraken, and in another popular exchange, there's a bunch of orders created all at the same time in synchrony. And it was about 20,000 Bitcoins to purchase orders at that moment. So, so was it one order or was it multiple orders that, was it multiple orders that uh, encompassed the 20,000 Bitcoin? Multiple orders on different exchanges around the same time. And that seems like some pretty blatant manipulation. I mean, 20,000 Bitcoin being bought on several exchanges all around the same time. Hmm, because even analysts, even analysts were very skeptical at how quickly Bitcoin rose, rose up to, to $5,000. It, uh, it, was, it was around 4,200 and then it was hovering around 4,700. But over the course of just 50 minutes, Bitcoin went from 4,200 to $5,000. I mean, you and I have always been very bullish on Bitcoin Cash. In just in the last month alone, it looks like Bitcoin Cash has risen something like, what is it, 85%? Pr pretty crazy just because of how undervalued the asset was as it is. And, and now, that, now that Bitcoin is getting this little pump, it's nice to see how Bitcoin Cash basically, basically stole the spotlight for, for this micro bull run that we had today. Actually, Bitcoin Cash just broke three hundred dollars, and we haven't seen these prices since I don't even know when, but probably in two thousand eighteen. <laughs> since Bitcoin Cash dropped, right? <laughs> no, November, not really. November nineteen, two thousand eighteen, was the last time we saw these prices. But one of the things that we need to keep in mind is when the market gets really ahead of itself, and all the FOMO starts to mm -hmm. get into people, and all these crazy gains occur. It's because we're going to have a bear market after because this is not sustainable. Right. It's just happening too fast. So maybe in a, in a couple of weeks, we're going to see it back at the 3000 level or 4000 because it's just not sustainable. Yeah, I, I'm inclined to agree with you just because we have seen this many times. You know, a $100 million order is not really enough to sustainably move the market. The market moves sustainably slowly the, these kinds it's of very interesting because there was 100 million dollars order at that time in that one hour and then over this period of time we have about 15 billion dollars added to the to the market kind right of it's all fomo and right you know fear of missing FOMO. out people people take a look and they see oh the price got pumped a little bit and before you know it you have tons of investments pouring in and then, you know, those who are smart will, will take a profit. Those who want to play the long game will, will hold their coins. In this particular case, I mean, 40% Bitcoin cash growth in yeah. over the last, what, 12 hours? Growth exactly. like that is really unsustainable. It's really just a matter of time before people catch on, start selling their positions. And like you said, you give it a month, two months, things could very easily be back where they are. Or at the same token, maybe maybe the underlying undervaluedness of Bitcoin Cash is enough for is, is enough for people to want to put their money in and just leave it for now. But personally, I, I see it as, as kind of like a short term move. You know, this is just a tiny little blip anyways in the chart. I mean, 
it's interesting that Bitcoin Cash seems to be very volatile. I've seen this in 2017. Mm -hmm. The price went from $86 in November after the fork, a month after the fork, and then in December reached out $2,000 to $4,000. But I was at the peak of the bull, the bull market. But it's always been very volatile, so you always need to be very careful. And if you're a daily trader or if you want to make some bucks, I would just recommend you not to cash out everything at once, but divide it in like let's say it's a week divide it in a couple of days like every day you cash out some of your position in bitcoin cash and then after when when the price goes down again you can buy more and acquire more bitcoin cash mm -hmm. at the end of the day right and this is really how you compound your gains at some point take the profit then reinvest your reinvest your profits and that way you just keep acquiring more and more bitcoin or bitcoin cash whatever coin whatever coin of choice you're you're choosing so hopefully the markets are not being too reactive to this and they don't let this get too out of hand. The last thing that I want to see is, you know, people start investing their money and then things start to tank. And before you know it, we've got a bunch of people that now hate the crypto market and are super fearful of investing again. In yeah. the grand scheme of things, this is really just such a small little blip. I know when you zoom out in the charts, it's very small, but I love to see all the media what's going on oh absolutely some, i'm eating it up too messaging me about it and some people actually remember me because I, i'm a crypto evangelist and so on like oh i saw bitcoin somewhere now because of the price and yeah so it's interesting to see the fomo oh should i buy now should i buy come on guys it's yeah. all repeats itself is human psychology at his best in the last 24 hours alone i've seen so many videos thumb their, their thumbnails are being uh Bitcoin to the moon, Bitcoin to, to 50,000, whatever. People had these videos ready to go. As soon as the market started to pick up just a tiny bit, people had these videos ready yeah. to drop. And and believe me, they're getting thousands and thousands of views because of all the FUD surrounding all of this. Yeah, so people are afraid of missing out on the train. And I think as the economy is doing right now, which is doing very well for the dollar, for employment, we're still not going to see a peak for Bitcoin, but things might change when things are not doing very well for our economy. And that's when Bitcoin will become probably the biggest bull run in history. And people finally see, oh, we have an alternative. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Crypto Evangelist, the Chief of Operations from BitTips.com. Check him out at BitTips, B-I-T-T-I-P-Z.com. Antonio, thanks for coming on the show. We appreciate your insight. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Brendan. Fear of missing out. That is the human psychology that I have seen cause the most losses in cryptocurrency investing. Even just over the course of recording this episode, Bitcoin Cash has already increased by like another $20. It's so easy to get caught up in the fear and the hype of just wanting to invest because you see the price going up. You have to play the long game. Nobody can make an absolutely perfect call on when the bull market is going to start. Nobody can make a perfect call when things are going to start tanking. One of the most important things when investing in cryptocurrency is the timing of when you get into the market. We'll have plenty more discussions on trading and the price of Bitcoin in the future. But for now, I'm Brandon from BitTips. Tune in next time.